Well, GM, everybody. It's good to be in Copenhagen with everybody. Um, yeah, thank you, Zoe, for the introduction. So, for those of you that haven't met me before, I'm Lima, and I'm sure we'll get to know each other a bit more later on uh, tonight. So, I'm here to talk about Nova Wallet, the ultimate Polkadot mobile app for everything and more, and a bit of foreshadowing there. So, I know there's some of you that are still in the dark ages using Polkadot.js, and you're down tremendously. So, I just want to teach you a little bit about Nova Wallet. So, we support over 80 uh, Polkadot chains, including both relay chains, Polkadot and Kusama, as well as all these amazing parachains that you've probably heard from today, like HydroDX. Um, and on top of that, we support over 250 different uh, cross-chain transfer channels. So you can transfer DOT from the relay chain to your parachain like Asset Hub. Uh, you can transfer DOT between parachains. And you can transfer parachain native tokens like IBTC from the amazing Insulate team. You can easily cross-chain transfer it to HydroDX's Omnipool and get started in some DeFi stuff. It's pretty awesome. And there's two at the top here. Uh, OpenGov and multi-stake and dashboard. Uh, I'll go in a bit more into them uh, a bit later on. We also support uh, the top three hardware wallets in our ecosystem. So we have Polkadot Vault, which is formerly known as Parity Signer. Uh, I'm sure a few of you have converted your old phone into uh, a, an air-gapped cold storage wallet. And we also support Ledger Nano X, which is super cool. Um, <laughs> we also uh, support every Polkadot dApp in the ecosystem. So again, everything like Hydra, Interlay, uh, Interlay's DAP, Astar's, uh, DAP staking, Kill, we spot everything. And for these chains like Astar that have a substrate side and an EVM side, we support both of those. So you have the power of Polkadot.js and MetaMask all from the palm of your hand. And uh, to kind of address something that happened recently with other ecosystems wallets, um, we don't take any compromises when it comes to user security and privacy. So we don't sell user data, we don't collect it, so we can't sell it. Uh, and as everybody in this room will probably say, if it's not your keys, it's not your tokens, right? Use uh, non-custodial or self-custodial wallets. Don't keep your tokens on exchanges. Uh, we also don't have any middleware, so when you get a build of Nova, it's directly from us, from the Play Store or the App Store. We don't use any third party to distribute builds. And we're fully open source. Uh, uh, don't trust to verify, right? Uh, if somebody's not open source, probably don't use them. Uh, and finally, we tell you when there's an update in the app, right? If there's a brand new update, we tell you. And we are always ahead of breaking changes, which, as uh, the main stage people said previously, happens quite a lot in our ecosystem, unfortunately. So what have we been up to in the past six months? So those of you who don't know me, this is quite fun. Um, so OpenGov is the first decentralized, unstoppable, and open governance platform in Web3. It's super cool. And well, guess what? Nova Wallet's the absolute best way to observe everything in OpenGov. So every single referendum pops up on Nova. You can scroll through them all. You can uh, even search for referendum by the referendum ID or the title of them, and you can filter. So for example, you can just see referendum you haven't voted on yet. On top of that, you can obviously participate in uh, governance. So we abstract away all these complexities. Things like the support and approval curve is kind of confusing to probably even people here. So we make it nice and easy. Things like this green bar uh, instead of a curve is really powerful. And delegation, one of my favorite things. <laughs> so for those that don't know about delegation, you can uh, assign your voting power to another account, which might be uh, for example, you don't feel comfortable voting on a root referendum, like runtime upgrades and things like that, you can instead assign your voting power to a developer, for example, who you feel like can make a bit of a better judgment call, which is super cool. But that was kind of not the only thing that was required. So for example, as part of my dealing with chaos now, hello everybody, um, we were like, okay, we want to have delegated votes, but how do people find us, right? So we made the delegate registry where people can sign up, submit their address, and people that want to delegate their votes can find those people, which I think is super cool. So we also have the multi-staking dashboard, which is brand new today. So update your Nova wallet and you'll see this. So it's a true multi-chain experience. So all the uh, different staking types we support, so you've got like Polkadot, Kusama, Moonriver, 
LF0, tons of others, all available on one screen. You can see things like your stake in position, how much reward you've been getting, uh, the APY, all that kind of good stuff, all from one screen. You can then uh, select each individual one to, for example, change collators, validators, that kind of cool stuff. So there's uh, something more that's coming uh, with uh, staking. So what I just showed you was already live. This is something that we're working on now. So the user flow is going to be a lot easier. So you're going to just basically start staking and then so enter the amount of dot, for example, that you want to stake, then press confirm. So this takes like two minutes or less to stake, right? But we think that's not enough. So a lot of users, especially new people in the eco, I'm sure if there's any wallet teams here, you probably have the same problem. Uh, new users are not sure the difference between nomination pools and direct staking. So we're going to take that uh, decision away from them, kind of. So if you stake below the uh, minimum threshold, we're just going to put you in a nomination pool, because it's the only thing you can do. So why give the user that stress of having to choose it, right? But if you're above the threshold, we'll put you into direct staking, because with direct staking, you can participate in governance, um, you can do a lot of other cool stuff, and rewards are kind of distributed automatically, whereas with a nomination pool, you have to claim them manually, which isn't great. But we're not taking features away. So we still have the option to change your uh, validators or collators and uh, uh, select your nomination pool as well. So we're not taking away anything, really. And I guess what's next for Nova, uh, well, it is probably on your mind. So right now, uh, like I said, nomination pool, uh, this kind of uh, system that assigns you to either nomination pool staking or direct staking. And then kind of uh, in Q2, some, or Q3, sorry, something that I'm quite looking forward to is dot swap integration. <laughs> and then Q4, we've got some really cool stuff like multi-sig support and proxy support, which is going to be really powerful to be able to uh, utilize multi-sigs on the move. And as always, there's more networks, more staking options, and more cross-chain features, like every single day, pretty much. But there is one more thing that we should probably look at. Oh, down bad. Can the support people please put the video on? Well, this is fun. I promise there's a cool video coming. Here is the assistant. Thank you, Elodie. We good? I have uh, HDMI here. It's very hot up here, by the way. So you have my nice background and memes from AAG, such as Hank. Play the video. No. Apologies. Here we go. This is fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Boys, we're down bad here, you know. Ideally. Yeah, uh, USB-C. Okay. Go 
mini jack? Uh, mm, yeah. We good? It's good when it works. <laughs> Thank you very much. So now you have the Nova Eco. So you can use Nova Wallet to do anything, anywhere, in Polkadot, from the power of your phone, from the palm of your hand. And if you want to access some cool enterprise features, like light clients, parachain data verification, uh, multi-sig support, uh, staking, balance transfers, loads of cool stuff, you can now use Nova Spectre. So I think it's really awesome. And if you want to see Nova Spectre live and you're at Polkadot Decoded, uh, come by tomorrow between like 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to have a stall and we're going to demo it. So please drop by. And to kind of close out, let's build together, right? Uh, we're always up for building with people, making the absolute best that we can out of Polkadot, making it easy for our users. And please scan the QR code. Join the Nova community. Um, submit your f uh, feature ideas. We have this canny page, and we always uh, review the best feature requests and implement them, because we're a community-focused project. You can even propose your favorite network token or DAP if we don't support it already, which we support most of them, and we'll implement it. And of course, just use Nova for yourself. Use Nova Wallet, use Nova Spectre, use our Android and iOS SDKs, and things like that. And thank you very much. It was a bit hot on the stage, and some technical difficulties, uh, but I'm hoping you enjoyed my presentation, and see you at the party tonight. Very good. <laughs> thank you, Limo. Um, we have some time left, also waiting for the other speakers, so maybe we can take some questions from the audience, but also starting here directly, can you tell us a bit more about the features of Spectra, because I'm super excited about it. Yeah, so it's enterprise focused and very security oriented. Um, so we support like balance transfers. Uh, we have uh, 70 chains supported, I believe, in Polkadot, mm -hmm. and tons of assets. Example, HydroDX, we support like every asset in your asset register. Um, we support staking, uh, multi sig operations. Uh, it's pretty cool. We have this thing called uh, Spectra Matrix Protocol. So when you make a multi sig, you, when you add somebody to the address book, you add their matrix ID. And when you make the multi-sig, it makes a matrix room, which then uses that to transport messages. So for example, things like the call data, which is boring to deal with, um, it just puts it in Spectra for you. So the other people signing the multi-sig calls don't need to harass the first person for the multi-sig call data. Um, cool. And we do things like, we have light client integration and stuff, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. But please do drop by tomorrow, and I'll demo it for you all. I will, definitely. <laughs> I hope other people as well. Any questions from the audience? Don't troll me, Chaos Style people. About Chaos Style, maybe as well. There's one question. Yeah, thank you, Elodie. <laughs> thank you. My name is Arash, um, Polkadot Ambassador. I'm just um, interested in that um, feature that you're going to be adding, dot swap. Um, you know, in uh, MetaMask, you've got this swap function that you can query multiple DEXs and just bring up the, the best. Mm -hmm. um, is that something you, you're going to be working towards, or, uh, or is it um, further on? Is it, it is something we'll be working towards, yes. OK, um, so with dot .swap, is that something, because um, it wasn't on your, um, your plans? So just dot .swap will probably be the first thing that we integrate. And then we're looking at integrating other DEXs. Again, I mentioned them a few times, Hydra. Uh, Maybe some decks on Moonbeam, for example, or Mangata, for example. Uh, yeah, be like an aggregator for uh, dexes in Nova. Yeah. Thank you. 
Thank you. But do you have a time frame, rough time frame for that? <laughs> Just curious, because, uh, you know, the wallet discussion is a big one amongst the community. Everyone talks about it, and uh, there's a lot of comparisons between Cosmos wallets and Polkadot wallets, and this is quite a, I think it's a big topic. I can give you a meme answer that it's three weeks away. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's no real ETA. Uh, dot swaps earmarked for Q3. Um, but we sometimes change the roadmap depending on like user feedback and, for example, waiting for dot swap to actually exist, right? It might not actually be a thing until Q4. So that would change the roadmap, right? Thank you. Thanks for the question. Thank you so much, Livor. Thank you. Meet you outside, right? For some drinks yeah. later. <laughs>